so uh y'all gonna subscribe or <laughs> you, you know you know you could put a little stank on that little subscribe button or whatnot hey loves it's always a welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to be doing this video about five misconceptions about me either these are based on people that approach me on a daily basis and ask me these questions or these are opinions and observations from my friends and also people that i know for a really long time number one so you see that i got tattoos and i got piercings right boom boom so a lot of people ask me do you like pain okay it's not that i like pain it's just that i have a tolerance for it when it comes to certain things like my ears all this cartilage and like my industrial bar my um surface tragus and also this right here is my rook those didn't really hurt that bad i do have a high pain tolerance for my ears anyway because i used to pierce them a lot when i was younger so you see here i do have a lot of holes and also have my ears gauged too when it comes down to tattoos it's weird because the more older i got and the more humble i got and less angry the less i was able to tolerate the amount of pain and also the time that i can tolerate a tattoo so ironically that's just how it happened i don't know why i just think my adrenaline just ain't like that no more or maybe i'm just not as crazy number two this happens with a lot of people that don't know me and then when they see me in public based on my photo shoots they think that i'm taller they think i'm maybe like five five or maybe five six but i'm actually five three and these are some examples over here of my photo shoots i've done in the past that may make me look taller because i do have a long elongated upper torso and i do have tiny little legs so it kind of makes me seem like i it gives that illusion that i might be a little bit taller when you meet me in person number three are those your real lips so with this right here it kind of annoys me a little bit because i see that y'all are trending with the kylie jenner um idea of making your lips bigger the victoria's secret plump um what is it like a lip plumper that y'all have or some type of thing that just makes your lips bigger or women in general when they go and get the lip liner pencil and they go ahead and draw on their lips and fill them in to make them look bigger it's just this whole era where people just started making their lips look bigger than what they really are all right that's cool y'all can have that that's amazing that's great that y'all could do that but it kind of irks me because I was born with these lips. Ain't no doctor handed these lips to me. Ain't no big promoter was like, hey, if you just go and wear this lip gloss and you know, you can go and get this commission from making your lips look big, da 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 da, and then we'll pay for your surgery. No, 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 no. This is a picture of me when I was younger. Really, really young. Too young to even know that I even had these lips. Too young for anybody to have an idea to put some lips on a baby, okay? So this right here is a picture of me when I was young, and this is also a picture of me when I was growing up too, and also the age before 18. So I don't understand why people think, like proportion-wise, if you look at my body and you look at my other features, I'm not just gonna have a really like wide nose, and then, you know, like my lips is gonna be really, really tiny, or I'm not just gonna have big lips and like a skinny skinny nose you know i don't <sighs> my parents is not that petty that's just this is the picture of me and this is me now there ain't no lip injections there ain't no lip plumper there's none of that anything of that nature going on number four they ask are you hispanic no i'm not any type of hispanic i used to stay in el paso texas so i do have a little bit of a hispanic accent because i lived there for so long and then when i came here i started getting back to my like southern accent so when it comes down to people asking me 
hey, are you Puerto Rican? It's really rude because I'd rather you ask me what my ethnicity is rather than go ahead and assume. And like, you never just go up to no black folks and be like, hey, are y'all Haitian or Jamaican? Because I just, I just wanted to know. Like, you just never do that. So it's something that I don't like when people do that to me because it's like, you already don't know and that's why you're asking, but you're also asking with the follow-up of a guess, which can be wrong. Just ask, hey, what ethnicity are you? Or you look very exotic. Or da 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 like that's cool and all. Don't sit there and try to go and assume what I am. And then get looked at me like I'm fucked up when I go and tell you, no, I'm not Puerto Rican. Just like that. Like, y'all dead ass be getting mad as fuck when I respond just like that, but don't realize how offensive it is to go and try to assume somebody else's race when I could be a whole lot of other things. To answer that question and clear things up, I am one fourth black and then I'm also one fourth Italian and I am half Thai. So my mom is from Thailand and my dad is from Narstown. He's half black, half Italian. And the Italian part, they are actually Sicilian. Number, <laughs> number five. <laughs> Number five, I look either mean or unapproachable. Now, this is more of seeing me in public while I'm working in between my jobs or while I'm at work or maybe I'm just trying to move with a purpose. I don't mean to come off as like unapproachable. It's more of like a defense mechanism too. So I can just scare little minds away so they stop asking me these dumb questions. And... I like people that go and they try to find out and is it easily moved on based on what they see at first sight. So if you truly want to figure out like who I am and what I'm about, you go and like have a conversation. You just don't are, oh, you know, she just looks mean or, oh, I'd rather not bother her because she looks like she's in a bad mood. Like if you let those little things go and prevent you from talking to me, it just makes me feel like that you just see what you see boom 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 and you don't go and try to see past it or open your mind to possibly having a conversation thank you guys for watching my youtube channel if you know, this is mua shay again if you want to watch more of my content please go and subscribe turn on that little bell and click on my other videos to watch my voluptuous content